successful cure of HIV infection after stem cell transplantation, an international group of researchers including WIT scientists have identified a third case of HIV infection cured by stem cell transplantation, hematopoietic stem cell transplantation for the treatment of severe blood cancers is the only medical intervention that previously cured two people living with HIV. Hematopoietic refers to an immature cell that can develop into all types of blood cells, including white blood cells, red blood cells, and platelets. Hematopoietic stem cells are found in the peripheral blood and the bone marrow and are also called blood stem cell, an international group of physicians and researchers. Including Dr. Emery Wenzing of Azincha, a division of the WITS Health Consortium, and Dr. Monique Nijuis in the HIV Pathogenesis Research Unit at WITS, has now identified another case in which HIV infection has been shown to be cured in the same way, in a study published today in Nature Medicine. The successful healing process of this third patient was for the first time characterized in great detail virologically and immunologically over a 10-year duration, an infection with the human. Immunodeficiency virus, HIV, was previously considered incurable. The reason for this is that the virus sleeps in the genome of infected cells for long periods of time, making it invisible and inaccessible to both the immune system and antiviral drugs. The Dusseldorf patient, a 53-year-old man, is now the third person in the world to be completely cured of the HIV virus by a stem cell transplant. The patient, treated at the University Hospital Dusseldorf for his HIV infection, had received a stem cell transplant due to a blood cancer, leukemia. As in the cases of the first two patients, named Berlin and London respectively, the Dusseldorf patient received stem cells from a healthy donor whose genome contains a mutation in the gene for the HIV-1 coreceptor CCR5. This mutation makes it nearly impossible for most HIV viruses to enter human CD4 T lymphocytes, their major target cells that cause HIV infection in humans. Following transplantation, the Dusseldorf patient was carefully monitored virologically and immunologically for almost 10 years, using a variety of sensitive techniques. The researchers analyzed the patient's blood and tissue samples to closely monitor immune responses to HIV and the continued presence or even replication of the virus. More than four years ago, the patient's antiviral therapy against HIV was discontinued. Ten years after transplantation and four years after the end of anti-HIV therapy, the Dusseldorf patient could be declared cured by the International Research Consortium. Clinical virologist Dr. Amory Wenzing says, We could not detect any complete HIV variants in tissues or blood. HIV immunity also faded away, which shows that the immune system is forgetting about the HIV infection that was once there. This cure means that we do gain insight in the dynamics of the immune systems and the viral reservoirs during cure. The implications are that switching off the CCR5 receptor is a key step in these cures. However, the limitations are that stem cell transplantations cannot be performed on a large scale, so other ways to modify the receptor need to be studied. Wenzing is an honorary professor at Azentia, a division of the WITS Health Consortium at WITS University in South Africa, and assistant professor at the University Medical Center Utrecht in the Netherlands. Wenzing co steers the ICI STEM Research Consortium with Professor Javier Martinez Picado from Ursi Keisha in Barcelona. Both the London patient and the Dusseldorf patient are part of the ICI STEM cohort, which analyzed the patient's materials. Dr. Monique Nijuis, Honorary Professor in the HIV Pathogenesis Research Unit, School of Pathology at Witts University, and Associate Professor of Virology at the University Medical Center Utrecht in the Netherlands, was involved in the patient's pathological analysis and was also a co-author of the 2023 Nature Medicine article.